The mission is save the sharks until we stab the shark for a sample and it attacks. Then the mission is kill the shark. Years later, the mission is save the shark, get the shark to the ocean. Then it switches up to save the shark. Don't let the shark get to the ocean. Do I have that right? That catacombs tunnel shark attack scene is going down in shark movie history. Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the new Netflix movie Under Paris. In order to save Paris from a bloodbath, a grieving scientist is forced to face her tragic past when a giant shark appears in the CN. Now this is a movie that I have honestly been looking forward to for a minute now. I love a shark movie, okay? Deep Blue Sea, 47 meters down, 47 meters uncaged. The Meg, the first one, not the second one. The movie Bait, where folks are trapped in a grocery store with a giant shark. I am always watching those trapped in the ocean with the shark movies. I don't care what it is. Even, um, it was something in the water that just came out this year. The one with Alicia Silverstone, um, where she's trapped in the ocean with her husband. I just really love a shark movie. And honestly, I don't have a high bar for them. So I wasn't expecting a masterpiece going into Under Paris, but Lord Jesus, I underestimated just how bad this movie could be. And I mean, I guess it's not terrible. I was just so annoyed off top by the story and the characters. First of all, we opened the movie with Sophia and her team and they are focused on saving the oceans and marine life and all the plastic in the ocean. So they're tracking these sharks, right? And Sophia is forcing the guys that are in the ocean to get a sample of the shark. First of all, I was extremely confused by that. What do you mean sample? Are these genetically engineered sharks like Deep Blue Sea? Were y'all experimenting on the sharks? Like, what do you mean you need a sample of the shark? Am I just an idiot? Because that ain't make no sense to me. Now, the shark is swimming around the divers, being cool. The guy even takes his hand and he touches said shark. And she's still just being cool. But then he takes this huge tool and freaking stabs the dang shark to get this sample. So the shark flips out, slaughters everybody. Baby, why the lady who got them killed in the first place? Place for pushing them to get this sample dives into the water to kill the shark now hold on lady I thought you was focused on saving marine life and saving the sharks that irked me so bad it threw me off y'all like bitch you want to save the sharks or not but honestly it was the dumbest most hilarious opening sequence when they show Sophia coming up out that water after the shark done drug her down and she got blood in her mouth I was dying like I was dying laughing because why they had this lady pop up, pop up out the water like a shark. So fast forward, Sophia meets this young girl, Micah. I think her name was pronounced. And all I could think about was that episode of Seinfeld when George is like, I am Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. But suddenly a new contender emerges. Micah came through and it was a bigger idiot than Sophia. Now, Micah shows Sophia this tracking beacon that the shark is here in Paris, right? First of all, Sophia not listening, okay? She don't believe her. She just leaves. Why the hell Sophia get her ass home and look at the same damn tracker map thingy Micah showed her. But once at home, she start acting like she's seeing this for the first time and she races out the door and heads for the river, I thought this was really odd. Like, why wasn't that your initial reaction when you first are shown this by Micah? Why do you have this reaction of disbelief, not wanting to hear it, just to turn around, go home, and then react with haste? Like, what changed? Then her ass walking along the river, and I'm like, the hell are you gonna do from up here? She walking along the river all night following the beacon, and it felt pointless. But hey, maybe she thought the shark would poke his little head up, child. I don't know. So... We try to convince the river cops that there's a shark in the CN, right? Please tell me why the hell Michael waits her happy ass up there like she they on the river. She wait until they dive in the river to tell her friend to cut the tracker. Like, girl, why would you cut the signal after we done jumped our asses in the damn water? Why you ain't cut the signal before we got in here? You are literally putting lives at risk. But then they have Micah standing up there 
so long. Sophia comes out, sees Micah lurking, who then turns and runs. Like, you big dummy. You had ample time to get the hell up out of Dodge City and go unseen. It was just so much stuff like that that was getting on my last nerves. And it made for such a frustrating watch for me personally. But maybe I'm just over dramatic, child. But Micah's stupidity gave us one of the greatest shark scenes in shark movie cinema okay so we have to try and get the shark out of the river and into the ocean right even though sophia is working with the cops to humanely get the shark in the ocean like she pulls up this whole plan of how you do it micah decides they're going to kill the shark and she needs to save it now where she got this from I don't know. Like, girl, can you verify that somebody gonna die before you decide you need to save them? Michael wants to use this sonar thingy or something and, like, swim the sharks to the ocean. Like, she gonna escort them. I, don't, I ain't even really clear on the plan. I still have no clue, like, how she planned to achieve this. I know she using the sonar, but was she gonna swim with the sharks? Whatever the hell, child. So, we have to try and get the shark out of the river and into the ocean, right? Sophia is working with the cops to humanely get the shark into the ocean. She pulls up a whole plan of how this is done and everything. But Micah decides they're going to kill the shark and she needs to save it. Like, girl, can you verify somebody going to die before you decide you need to save them? I literally have no clue where she even got that from. Like, how, like, where did this come from that they're going to kill the shark? Micah wants to use this sonar or something and, like, swim the sharks and escort them to the ocean. I still have no clue what her plan really was like i know she used the sonar but was you finna swim with the sharks i don't know what she was doing so she dives in the water ready to like swim with them or something but what didn't make sense to me is that she has to get the whole internet she has to call for all these other people to come along as well i don't even know what the point was or why those people needed to be there but you know dumb people can never just do dumb stuff by themselves they always need folks to like join in on the stupidity but seriously, what was the point of pulling other people in? Like, you didn't need funding and money. And, like, I didn't understand why she had to pull folks in for this. That just didn't make any sense for me. I, I don't know what was happening, y'all. I don't know. But we have this whole situation where her close friend goes to the cops and all that stuff to tell them what she planning. And now we got to go try and stop stupid people from being stupid people and probably get our asses killed <laughs> but i'm so serious can somebody explain to me the point of why micah needed other people here i really like what was they was just supposed to stand and watch you in the water i don't understand why she needed them there but anyway if i remember correctly micah gets in the water and she ain't got no breathing mass or nothing just the sonar thing so again, I don't know what her plan was as far as guiding them to the damn ocean, but we get this amazing scene of everyone panicking after Micah dumbass get killed by the shark. And not only get killed by the shark, the cop guy jumps in the water, even though we're screaming for her to get out, he jumps in the water to just pull her ass out. She freaking bites him or something, still not listening and get her ass killed. I'll be honest, the only people I cared about not getting killed in this scene were the river cops because everybody else were being so stupid. But this was a really cool scene with the crowd of people panicking and trampling people and trying to get out through this small tunnel, which was the only exit. Um, and I mean, the actual shark stuff in the movie is pretty great and it's entertaining. It's just the story and the characters that really killed my experience with this movie. I mean, Micah telling her friend, what if we do nothing? I'm like, girl, what do you mean? What if you do nothing? The lady you claim to look up to helping the cops who mainly get the damn shark back to the ocean. Like, what the hell do you mean? And then Micah friend telling the cops she's going insane. I was like, wait, what? Like, where the hell that come from? She was fine a day ago. How has she suddenly gone insane? <laughs> I don't know. That don't, ugh, that stuff is just really irking me. I'm all for dumb, fun movie and suspending belief, but nothing and no one in this entire movie was making any damn sense to me, like, in the slightest. I mean, even to the point that when Micah says sharks don't attack for no reason, Sophia ass gonna say, well, this one did. I'm like, no, bitch, 
bitch, you stabbed her. And then she attacked. Like, little stuff like that in this movie just was irking me because it was so nonsensical. The shark was cooling until you had old boy stab her. So what do you mean she attacked for no reason? Then the scene where Micah in the water and the shark finally shows up was annoying because... She was just in the, in the water damn floating. And I'm like, use the sonar, you dumb bitch. Lord, the shark. Ain't that what you here for? Like, I don't understand the dramatics of having her just floating in there and extending that little moment. Why the hell are you just floating, girl? Go ahead, turn the sonar on. Get them to the ocean. But the shark stuff was all really fun, which arguably is the main reason you come to movies like this. But I want likable characters and a fun story as well. Like, you can give me a dumb story, but it needs to be fun. But at this point, we discovered that not only has the shark grown massively, which again... I don't understand the whole taking a sample stuff and the shark growing so fast, so quick. They never tell us that Sophia and her team did any kind of experimentation. So none of that stuff with regard to the shark made any sense to me. But anyway, this is when we discovered that the shark has a baby and there are actually two sharks and not one. After the tunnel scene, we do an autopsy on the baby who ends up killed. And we discover that even though the baby is only a few months old, she is currently pregnant and that the sharks get pregnant without a male. Oh, and after the tunnel scene, that damn over-dramatized hospital scene took me out, child. Now, that scene was funny, but then we get back to the holes in the logic. Sophia whole mission at the top of the movie was to save the ocean, save marine life, save the sharks. That's the mission. But then after she get her team killed, she dives in the water in the opening sequence to kill said shark that we're trying to save. Now the mission is get the shark out of the river and to the ocean. But then Sophia switches up again to say they can reproduce in two months. They've evolved into a new species of shark. We have to kill them. We can't let them get to the ocean. What? Say what now? Sophia tells us the sharks fled the ocean. Dumb humans got all this plastic in the oceans and stuff. So the sharks fled and ended up in the catacombs and the river under Paris because it's safe there. And now they have evolved from being under there. And now we got to kill them? <laughs> Say what now? Like either I'm an idiot or none of this stuff makes any real sense. The mission is save the sharks until we stab the shark for a sample and it attacks then the mission is kill the shark years later the mission is save the shark get the shark to the ocean then it switches up to save the shark don't let the shark get to the ocean do i have that right we have the idiot mayor they try to go to and honestly she hurt my nerves because there are certain just Typical characters that we always see in movies that I'm sick of seeing and the evil politician character is one Having the characters always hit the same roadblock because the person in power don't want to help or don't want to believe I'm so sick of that same old contrived conflict The mayor was way more concerned with the Olympics being held in Paris Which honestly didn't make sense to me because when they first come to the mayor they have a whole week before the Olympics Baby, y'all got a week. Go get the mocha shark and get into the ocean like the lady gave y'all the plan to do. I don't understand. But the timeline in this movie was crazy because next thing we know, they go talk to the mayor after the little debacle in the tunnels and the Olympics is in like 24 hours. And I'm like, the hell y'all been doing for a whole mocha week? <laughs> The mayor is focused on keep this all off social media. Tell the public there is no shark in the sea. You mean to tell me the victims in the tunnel, the families of the victims, the doctors, the janitor in the hospital, the hospital staff, like Micah putting a damn video on the internet. You mean to tell me all this was able to be kept quiet? I don't buy that. But that's not even a big deal in the story. Sophia and the cops decide they got to kill the sharks despite the mayor not wanting them to do nothing like she gives it all to the mayor. I mean to the military and we discover there is an entire horde of sharks living under the city in the catacombs and stuff and this was a good scene as well when Sophia and the crew go under there to set the bombs and we see all them hordes of sharks circling around 
And one thing I want to point out, after the explosion and trying to kill the sharks, Sophia and the main cop are the only two left, right? And we see a view of the shark where it show look like a scar on the side of the shark from where they stabbed her at the beginning of the movie for that sample. But the whole basis of Sophia character in this is she keeps maintaining the shark attack for no reason. But we get a bunch of stupidity in this final third act. Sophia, we're, we're safe on the boat. Sophia dives off the boat into the water just to yell the shark is here. Girl, I, what? I didn't understand that. And we get this huge shark attack with the swimmers in the river for the Olympics. And I'm honestly annoyed the mayor died and I'm annoyed she died so quick. I needed her to survive and live with the backlash of everything she did. Um, so the folks are shooting at the sharks in the river and the damn shark dodging bullets like Neo in the Matrix child. It was so crazy. But with the shooting, they end up causing massive explosions because they have these like active bombs or whatever at the bottom of the river from like a war years and years prior, which I was confused. Like why y'all ain't do like the folks in Godzilla minus one and pay people to go out and like. I don't know, get the bombs out of there, deactivate them. I don't know, whatever the hell they was doing in Godzilla Minus One with them bombs that was left in the ocean. But there ends up being a huge wave because of the explosion that puts Paris underwater. And now the humans lost and the sharks won, which makes me very happy because all the humans were idiots and it was ruined in the oceans at the beginning of the movie when the poor animals was dying from the plastic in the ocean. Now... I was annoyed with how it ended, having the cop and Sophia just floating in the middle of the river surrounded by sharks. I get it. They left it open, ended for a possible sequel, which I would be here for. And, and it's fine. But I didn't like where we left Sophia and the cop. I don't like feeling like... um it's not concluded and it's just a, an abrupt end. Like at least have them climb, like able to climb on something and it can end where the sharks have taken over Paris. But we know the two leaves are like safe on a the, on the rock or whatever the hell they could climb on. But having them just floating in the water surrounded by sharks, that ending feels abrupt to me. I also don't understand how there was possibly even enough water to flood the damn city. They literally tell us the river is like five or seven meters deep. Now, do I really understand what, like, meters? No, but five, seven meters, that don't sound like enough to flood a whole damn city of Paris. Overall, despite my complaints, um, it's enjoyable enough, entertaining enough way to kill time. I would give Under Paris a solid 4.5 out of 10. The acting was good. The movie looked good. All of the shark attack scenes were fun and well done in my humble opinion. That catacombs tunnel shark attack scene is going down in shark movie history. The Olympic shark attack scene it was fun but the tone felt off and it like threw me off when i first watched this because it felt more silly it felt more like sharknado it wasn't in line with the tone with the the rest of the film but it was still fun but i was just way too annoyed with the characters and frustrated with the story i was also frustrated that the movie seemed to not know what it wanted to say like are we making a statement about marine life and pollution or not? Like, Deep Blue Sea had a clear message with them experimenting on them sharks and playing God. And Michael Rappaport character saying, like, she messed with the sharks, not the sharks messing with us. I do think it's worth the watch and not the worst thing that has come out of Netflix by far. <laughs> But let me know in the comments, how did you feel about Under Paris? I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree or disagree with my take? And I am working on a video of the best Netflix original movies. And um, Under Paris won't be on that list. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.